Good morning, and welcome to what I like calling the great adventure of one day in this life of a Carnegie Mellon PhD student in the Robotics Institute in the Air Lab. I normally start my day with a glass of water, some stretching, throwing bread into a box from too far away, and coffee and eggs. There is something I don't particularly understand about some people. They can just wake up and leave. I wake up hungry. We're gonna figure that out and then leave. Today, like most days, I bike to lab. The air lab that I am part of has recently moved to a neighborhood next to campus. Yes, this is campus. Look at it, it is pretty magical. In my opinion, of course. The neighborhood that we have moved to is called Squirrel Hill. I like it not only because it has great facilities for research, like many robots that I will show you in a moment, but also because it allows me to bike through this majestic park every day. Some days it looks like this. And other days, are you kidding me? This is beautiful. Welcome to Squirrel Hill. So, this place is called the Manor. It is a movie theater. Right above it is part of the Robotics Institute, including the Air Lab. So, we're gonna go up there right now and do some work. Now it is the time when I do the work. And by the work, I mean, let's take a tour. We have giant windows that I love. We have many, many desks that I use sometimes. Professors. Robot. Robot. So many drones. They are all actually being used all the time. Robot flight simulators and now it is time to do some work for me <laughs> work is often drawing circles now I can explain I work in the space of computer vision with fisheye cameras as of late so naturally spheres are part of this game and hence I draw some circles mm, Peter what do you think um, yeah, it's, uh, love being a student, I love learning, and robotics are really cool. That was not a genuine answer, but hopefully the rest of the video is more real. Do you want to try again? Yeah. What's the question? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Today's goal is to take two computers and bring them to campus. It's going to be extremely exciting. Welcome to the Field Robotics Center, where we teach robots to swim, jump, collect fruit from trees, but I cannot see it now. Big robot, another big robot. Cables. So today is the first day of classes, which means that I'm going to learn a new thing. This is exciting, right? Yes. The next stop in our journey is surprisingly the Tepper School of Business. This is where my kinematics, dynamics, and controls class is going to be taking place. Which is surprising, because it has nothing to do with business. Or does it? Fancy buildings. We have gone one floor down, and there is a full-fledged maker space here with robot, drone, drone, robot, robot, two robot arms, and a motion capture system. I have not seen anything like this anywhere else. We come here sometimes for some drone testing. Big boy. Tiny boy. For a space station, you make it super lightweight to get it uh, up into space. So I wanted to show you that we have returned from class and now I'm back in the lab. Uh, I kind of got caught on into a conversation with the lab mate. 
And that reminded me that it's really nice to be in this shared space where interactions are easy and frequent. With my advisor, um, how is the filming going? You tell me. And also with friends. <laughs> this has been a genuine interaction. Welcome to life. <laughs> this has been. I'm going to do another session of work now before calling it a day. Sometimes I try to block out chunks of time where I'm not distracted, put my phone away, put headphones on. I find time chunking this way to be really helpful. All right, back on the bike, this time down the hill. Those downhills are way too much fun. And honestly, this is by far the best part of riding a bike. Beautiful. The life of a PhD student here can, can get hectic like anywhere else. There are deadlines and research and classes and things sometimes pile up. I did learn, however, that moving around is helpful for me. So I try my best to move around in some capacity. Elevator. So this concludes a day in the life as a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute's Air Lab. I hope you have enjoyed the journey as much as I have enjoyed the journey. However, I have filmed too much today, so I'm going to be continuing to do a little bit more work. I hope you have enjoyed the show. Thank you for joining me today.